So number formatting is basically used. Excel uses number formatting to convert the numbers into the actual values. Just like when we type anything, it it converts to its relevant value, most probable value. Like if I type zero and everything, it will be converted into number. Okay, if I type any So it will be converted into date. Here it is showing custom. So it will be converted into date. So these kind of uh, proper number formats is required by Excel for calculating the value. So we will today we will know that how this number format number formatting works. So let us take an example with some of the values, number values. I use rand between formula to generate random values between 10 to 90. Okay. I have generated some num values. I am putting some negative values over there. And some thousand values. Now for any kind of setting we have to select the data first and this number formatting we click on this arrow under home tab or we can press control 1 or we can press right click and format cell option. In format cell option the first tab is number tab. That's why it's called number formatting because it is in format cell dialog box so number formatting. So general as you can see general format cell have no specific number format. Okay. So let us move to number. In number there is a sample box in every uh, every part. So you can see what kind of changing you are making in it. <laughs> Decimal places you can choose from here that you want two decimal places or three decimal places you can use separator also in your separator thousand separator the value before thousand will be separated by a comma okay and uh, this you may be knowing and but the other thing is negative numbers so negative numbers is basically how you want to show your negative numbers you can see there is negative number by default preceded by a minus sign. But the other option is they shows at red. If you select this one, so your negative value will be shown in red. See but the actual value is the same. This formatting, number formatting, custom formatting doesn't change the reality of the value. It just change the visibility of the value okay so we have different kind of negative numbers here proceeded into the brackets the negative number will be shown into the brackets then into the brackets and uh, in red color So why I am telling this sometimes this value shows you like this and you should understand that what is what is that exactly this. Okay. So let us make it as it was earlier. Second format is currency. In currency you have decimal places, negative numbers as previous, but we have symbols. Through symbols you can put a currency sign here if you don't have any currency sign you can download the related font and install in your computer it will be shown then yeah so let us simply take dollar here I put dollar here 
So this is a currency sign. Let us take the same thing here also. Now we have accounting. In accounting we have decimal places and again the symbol. So what is the difference between this currency symbol and this accounting symbol? Let us see. So majorly the difference is in accounting you have aligned symbol. You can see the dollar is in straight away one line. But in currency it is depending upon the numbers. One more thing if you put zero here. So it will show as a hyphen. But if you put zero here it will show as a zero. So this is the basic difference. Mostly banks and accounts person use this kind of formatting. Okay. Then we have dates. In dates we need to understand that how many types of dates we are dealing with. What is the exact limit of date? How it process to date? So this is the current date which I put here. And if I convert it to general format. So it shows me a number. So what is this number exactly? For that I need to put 1 and convert it to date format. Okay. So long date format I choose from here. So it is basically 1st January 1900. 1. Let us say if I put 367 because 1900 was a leap year. So 367. So it will show me 1st January 1901. Basically I want to say these are the days passed from 1st January 1900 to till now. Okay. Then for time. Like I have selected time here and let us make it to general format. So in general format it is showing me some decimal places. And what is that exactly it? We have a formula now. Which basically shows you the date and time combinedly. So date and time combinedly let us make it as a general. So you can see there is a these days are there and dot the decimal value. Okay. So this is basically Excel deal with date and time. It treat as num whole numbers days and the decimal values as time. But what are exactly decimal values? How it is evaluating? It means one day equal to 24 hours. So if you want to type one hour here, so you need to type um, one by 24. You need to divide one to 24. That means one hour. If I convert it to time format, so you can see what exactly it is. 1 a.m. it is showing after 12. Okay. So one hour. If you want to show two hours, then two by twenty-four. Two hours. Now you want to add some minutes in that. See, basically, you can't directly add minutes in date. Okay, in this. Let's suppose if I want to. These are date and time. If I want to plus one date what I have to do directly plus one because these are numbers so the changed value will be one date ahead okay. but in second when I have time so what is the impact of this addition 
that it adds one into this decimal places so that means it increased the day not the time okay so you can see the time is same yeah so this is the basic difference if you want to do pl any plus minus in time then you need to put the formula like 1 by 24 then you can see the changes okay so these things will be clear under date time formula and uh, so today I am just explaining the formats of this date, date and time. So we have some date value here. Let's see. So Excel process date itself. So we have date number format in which we have different kind of formats. Like I need I need full day name full month name then the date and the year so I will use this format first every kind of format is available here if I need day month and year only in numbers so I can use this format likewise I don't want to show year so I can use this format I want to show the full month name or the abbreviated month name I can use these type of formats ok I have entered one date only but through the format I am changing the visibility of them this is basically a number formatting ok month initial only March for March M it is showing so you can just change the format of the value according to it. Okay. Let's take time now. In time there are three kind of formats. First is your 24 hour, uh, 12 hours format which includes AM and PM ok so this is a am and pm it is showing I just change the value to eighteen ok eighteen hours so it is showing me six twenty four pm so when I need this value without am and pm it we will use this format 13 by 30 so it will show you the date at uh, the time in 24 hours format but sometimes we need like I plus 1 to it means how many hours there 24 plus 18 so this much hours we got here yeah. but how to show it that this much hours let's suppose we have a building and one person goes there and come comes in the next day so how will I know the spend it hour spent hour by him so it will go beyond the 24 hour format which is this 37 by 30 format it will show you he has spent 42 hours 24 minutes so basically three kind of formats are there with AM PM 12 hours without AM PM 24 hours and beyond 24 hours so three kind of format you can deal with next is percentage we deal with percentage like 1 2 3 any number we type when we convert into percentage we have this percentage symbol over here and currency 
and increasing decimals but let's go with this there are decimal places so when we convert any value to percentage it multiplies by 100 and it shows you like this 1 2 3 4 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent like this but the actual value of this percentage will be remain same okay how to evaluate this if i select this and multiply this value with any kind of uh, uh, like 2 so the value will be 2 only because actually it is 1 likewise if I type 0 0.5 0 0.56 I have typed so it is converted into 56 percent 0 0.2 if I convert into percentage, it will be 20%. Okay. But after changing the format, you can directly type here that 300, 3000% 3, or 50%. But the value will be same. The value for this will be in general format 0. .5. Okay. So this is uh, the tricky part with percentage with we have to remember in actual condition we divide the value for getting the percentage but the percentage have the lesser value from the whole amount it is divided by 100 then we have fractions 1 by 2, 2 by 3 like 0 0.5 we have so you want to convert into fractions just select that fraction there are a lot of formats but first one is important for you. 1 by 2 you can see here ok like you want to say in this format 0 0.3 what will be the impact of this fraction ok 2 by 7 ok that's how it shows you now let us see you will be using some this scientific this is scientific you never use because it is about log values it shows everything in logs so we don't need to go with text it is the important one format let's see sometimes we need to include zero before text okay if I uh, type like this the zero will be lost so if I have to type zero we will press apostrophe sign apostrophe sign then we type any of the zero and type so it is converted into text but every time I have to type this apostrophe let's say you have this specific area here and you want to make it text as default just make it text text here the format change to text now you need not to put a post of sign you can directly enter the value like this okay. even if you put formula here so it it is not going to calculate because it's a text value you can directly put it okay. now let's move to uh, let's skip special because we don't need it we will use custom for that let's suppose I am doing six digits entry here check numbers like something I am typing which requires six digits and accidentally it converts into number and let us make a general also accidentally it converts into numbers now 
what I want that I want to get back that zero. Yeah. So is there any way? Well, you know about it. Do you know about it? How to get back the zero again? No, no Z. No, not control Z. See, control Z. Uh, if it is saved, the file become saved. So, this, uh, is there any way rather than control Z? So, I tell you. Uh, you don't need control Z all the time because if the value is this sheet is saved so the control Z will not work so likewise I say that in number formatting what I have told you these are predefined formats in custom you can define your own format ok so we have to put six digit value but we will put here 6 times 0 ok I have selected this and uh, in custom I have put 6 times 0 I am pressing ok See. so it is returned but likewise I say it's only a format not the reality reality will be remain same Okay, the value it is showing you what was actually. For the print purpose you can use it. The actual value will be in general format like this. But you can put the same formula with text and you can get the real value like this. I am selecting the value then we have format text we have to give the format and the format was 6 times 0 ok so it will return you the same value as text in reality ok if it is not real then you can calculate these values as well also like I want to do plus minus here yeah. okay. so I can able to do it but we don't need all the time so 6 times 0 what it exactly do it, play, it is a placeholder for decimal like a blank space for decimal like we have this right now so how many value you put here it removes the zero but when you don't have digit it puts that zero it forces zero to be appear here there ok if you have digits full six digits it will not ask you any means uh, if it is a format we can use format printer also so I apply whole format here so if you have full digits so it will never ask you anything but if you have less it will force you it will show forcefully zero ok now where we can use it and the one to make you more clear about this so let's suppose we use sometimes mobile numbers and there is a country code in India plus 91 and then we type any mobile number ok so I want that I will 
type this number and this formatting should be uh, predefined by custom format. So I want to put country code before the mobile number. So what I will type, I will go to custom and I will type plus 91 and hyphen I want to fix that. Then I will put, I will put 10 times 0. Okay. Like that. So when I am typing mobile number, so it is showing me. But if I type lesser numbers, it will fix the rest of all with zeros. So we need a placeholder which doesn't force digits to zero when there are no digits. So what I will do in rest of the case, I will use hash. Hash is the another placeholder of numbers. So when I am typing lesser numbers, it doesn't it doesn't force zero. Okay. Okay. Let's say we have go to meeting ID. nine digits ID separated by hyphen like this so we can use another format here what in custom three times hash then hyphen three times hash then hyphen three times hash okay this hash represents decimal if you put one hash, it will get all the digits. But if you want to have special formatting in middle of any digit, so you can specify the digits by hash. That after three digits there is a hash. After three, then after three digits there is a hash. Like this you can do. So I type frequently. I don't. I am not typing any other thing. When I enter, it will convert. What happens to this format when uh, we typing nine values? Then okay, in the tenth, if if I type more than the given values, it will fix the extra values before. Okay, because you have given order for uh, nine digits only, so tenth will be placed here. Okay. according to the format now we have some decimal values like this we have another one placeholder also so I am putting some decimal values So we have a decimal, if we put decimal there, so it will work as a decimal operator in custom. I am typing question mark. This question mark is also as a, this is also a placeholder for digits. So I am typing three digits, three question marks, then dot, then three question marks. Okay, basically this is for is used for alignment. You can see the decimal places are another place. So when I put the decimal will be in sequence 
in one alignment what it does actually it reserve the place for that decimal doesn't force character to appear there but reserve the space okay like you can see after 3 you can enter two more digits like this okay so the decimal will be aligned here then let's do it with something with dates so i have entered one date here and then let's go to custom every kind of format we can do so what we will have we have d d for day it will show you the single digit day just like in sample just see in sample means if the date is 1 2 3 it will show like 1 2 3 if you put here 2d so it will put uh, not show 1 2 3 as 1 2 3 it will show 0 1 0 2 0 3 okay and double digits then any sign you can fix for format sign you can fix but let's talk about day only if you put three times d it will show you the abbreviated day name if you put four times d it will show you the full day name okay so four times till four times you can put d single d for sing, uh, single values of date double d for double digits of the date triple d for abbreviated day name and four times d for full day name then you can use month for month what you will do you will type m single digit month name two times m double digit month name three times m abbreviated month name four times m full month name five times m initial of the month only with them like March then you have year if you put there are two types of year by by double digit and four digit so either we will put two times y or four times y okay so let us form a date here I want full day name here so I will type four times d then I will press comma I need abbreviated month name I will press three times m okay then I need a hyphen sign and I need the double digit day so I will put dd then again comma I have put any of the sign I can use I need four digit year name year okay so these mmdd again and again you can use any of the n number of the times if you need again here day so you like this you can increase when you press ok you can see the impact over there okay so that's how you can change the format let's do it with time I have a time I put some time and go to control one custom so I have a time for hour we will press H double digit or double H for minute we will press M but this M doesn't work 
single if you single only put m so it will refer to month not for minute what you need to put hour h colon or colon hyphen space anything you can give here so i am putting m m for minute double m for double digit likewise you have second s as you can press individually also okay there is no second value so s is silent it is showing zero only so how will we form a format h colon m colon s like i have typed that but for am pm we need to type this am slash pm it is a fixed format am slash pm or you can put a slash p this is a fixed format you can use it. so it is showing you in that format let's increase the time as i have done earlier 18 i am making okay so it is showing you wrong values so remove this ap the was for tell our formats we need this am pm system for this we don't need i type a proper format hh mm ss okay it is not uh, taking as a date because it was wrong to that time because 18 and 48 am is not specifically time so it was not considering as time when i typed 18 okay it has converted into text that time now we have 12 hours format now let's say i want to move beyond 12 hours so i just enter here 36 any of the more than 24 hours so it is not showing me now it has increased the date here the past 24 hour crossed so what type of format we can use we can use this big brackets if i put big brackets and put h over there so it will show me the whole r the total hours which is 36 okay and i can show minutes and seconds as well by putting big brackets and we can use double decimal or single decimal it is up to our choice now i need the i don't need the consumption of total hours i need the consumption of total minutes and the seconds that how many minutes he has spent into that category so we can use this big bracket for m also so now i need minutes and seconds you can see minutes and seconds that that's much minute he has spent there and if i need the values in second i don't need this let's put s into bigger brackets so it will convert all the values into seconds that how many seconds he was there so this is the format like that okay now we can do lot of more with text also basically it is for number only number date time but we can do something with text so we have known that zero hash and question mark we use for place holder for numbers so for text we have different place holder which is at the rate okay let's see an example i put name and if i design any format and i have to type like 
uh, type a line like this so I used underscore for that okay but when I increase and decrease line this line will be disturbed it will be going out okay so I will clear after this but uh, let us say I am typing any company name here. So what I am doing, Nessus or Max Limited. India we put Nessus before any company. So I want that I put company name only that Nessus should be there automatically. So I will design a format here. What kind of format? See in custom format when we want to type text here so we type always in inverted comma so measures and we need to show space also so we can directly show the space and for text as a placeholder we have at the rate okay so I am typing any company name Messers is prefixed ABC okay you can use n numbers of at the rate for repeating the same value which the user has put. okay so this is only what we do with text just prefixing a number like I want to use a uh, 10.5 $10.50 $10 so what will be the format there we will be having first we need this numbers so we will put uh, at least if there is no number it should show zero so I will put like this in two digits I want hash zero okay or I can use only zero okay then I need dollars to be right here so united commas dollars okay space then after dot I will put dot here then uh, double zero because if there is no value in sense at least it show double zero then inverted commas sent ten dollars fifty cents like this any of the value I can put it will be showing into that format okay there is a rule for comma separator also like one thousand and there we have one million okay so you want to use the that format thousand format so how will we do hash comma then comma is for thousand separator separator then we have hash 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 three values will be there then dot then how many decimal I want okay like this so likewise you can see that for thousand there is a separator and for one million there is a separator this comma behaves automatically okay let's suppose if I want to see show the value this one million like one point something million 
or this 1000 as one only one or two only one point something so what I will use I will not give these decimals here so I will do like this hash and comma only so this thousand value will be shown as one only like one and I will invert it comma I will put k okay this format with format printer I apply here so you can see 1000 K the value is same only the visibility is changed and let's suppose if you put two commas there what happens and instead of K I type here million 1 million and the same format if I apply here what I get? nothing ok so I can force decimals here also three times decimal after decimal I force zero so it will be showing you like this so there is a hash I want that this should be 0 0 should be force so I can change it to 0 like this 0 0.001 million like this so there are different kind of formats you can put some logical test also over here now let's see this one the name which I have left earlier so I have to show the line only but not with the underscore with name I am just applying any format here in custom I am taking at the rate this because the cell value will show should be shown before then we have star and underscore ok so when we increase this underscore will be increasing and decreasing according to the column width now what it exactly means the star repeats the character after it so I have put at the rate star and then underscore so star repeats the underscore till, till the column width okay. then we can apply some conditions also here in some number uh, like I type some numbers 25, 125, 325, 85 so I want to apply condition the like we do in conditional formatting we can we have this option in custom formatting also because you have seen there are there were negative numbers behaving like with some colors so we can use it like we can type the color in big brackets okay it will be shown into red but on any condition I want that like if I I can use blue also yellow also like this I can use it is converted into blue now I want this conversion into a condition so we use condition in big brackets like uh, if the value is greater than 100 ok then it should show blue and for uh, completing the for putting in a, another condition we will use this semicolon and another condition I am putting that the value is uh, less than equal to 100 then 
it should show red. I'm pressing OK. So you can see here that's how the condition works. Now how to remember these all these things? Okay. Just go to no, just press F1. And the help mode you have it's of two types. You can see content from office online, content from this computer. So all the online help will be available here. If they select it to all Excel, it will be search searching into online websites. Otherwise it will search in offline. So in online we need because this custom formats available in online. Custom format. Search. Create or delete a custom number format. When you click on that. You will get the whole list. That how you can apply the formats. Which format doesn't need double quotes like currency plus sign this is in inverted comma they don't need then you have placeholders what they do zero hash question mark period that dot and then you have some samples to display this value as this value which format will be which code will be we will use okay then we have separator that what we were earlier using. Then we have this list of color which we can use in format. How to put conditions. So forget about that, this is all. Then for displaying month, days and year. You can see samples which code for which thing. Likewise for R sample for times. Okay. So this whole list will be helpful for you for learning this custom format. Okay. So we have completed two topics, number formatting and custom formatting.